Hello and what is up guys, Rai here and welcome back to some more Gear City. It's been a little bit, it's been a little bit. Uh, so we're back here of course in the wonderful world of Maven Motors, which is our uh, pretend car company of course from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Uh, Winnipeg gang of course. So we are going to go to the map here and see sort of where things are. As you can tell, the green dots mean factories, the orange or the yellow dots, sorry, mean uh, branches, dealerships. Um, and if it's green, there could be a branch there as well. We're assuming there is. Uh, and red means that we don't have anything and no presence in those cities. Uh, as you can tell, we are pretty, you know, we're pretty widespread throughout North America. A bit of Mexico. Uh, nothing in Europe yet. World War II is, is, is it come to an end yet? Is it 19, 1946, 1948? Okay, so World War II has ended. Uh, things are looking all tickety-boo, I think. It's about time to start some new vehicles. We can look at our showroom and see what we've developed. Our first car being the... Oh yeah, we've got the Harriet brand now. The MKS1. That's our very first car. We can't see it though. We can see the MK1 selling pretty poorly, but it's still sold nonetheless. And now our newest vehicles is like the Maximus. We got the Grisada, the Faden, the All Runner, the All Mover. I think those are our pretty much all of our cars. So we've got a full-size sedan. We've got a sedan, a truck, a compact SUV, or pretty much like a little off-roader, I guess. And we have a van. So, like, an, an, not just any van, it's a big old van, too. Sales are doing pretty good. Uh, this thing was developed in the late 30s, though, so it's it's nearing a decade old. And that's, that's pretty old for car terms. Um, but we're selling kind of okay, actually. Uh, how's Harry? Because we got Harriet models as well. The Vitesse, which is a sports car. We got the 40. I'm not sure why it's called a 40. Uh, probably because it's a 4 liter. So that's not bad. They're all selling kind of okay. The Vitesse is selling fairly well. Sales are actually at an all time high for pretty much all of our vehicles. The Super Turbo uh, is doing quite good. 206 horsepower is not bad. This has got 220 horsepower, but it's, it's a big old, big old girl. We're going to hop in here. Let's hop in and take a look at what we have for engines and stuff. So we've got a few things. The G series of engines, the Generation 2. We got the, oh yeah, the G diesel series, which is a 3 liter 4 cylinder diesel. Not in production anymore, but uh, we did we did spend 180,000 designing that thing, and we didn't use it all that much. I don't know if we sold too many. Let's let's check. We sell too many diesels. Take it worthwhile. So, okay, uh, you know, a good, we got 10,000 diesels there. We got 1,600 diesels there, not really that much. And 31,000 diesels in the truck. Actually, let's go back to here. We can see the R&D cost for things. You can actually show... You can click this to see our old cars that are discontinued. So the... The all mover. So the van costed 500,000. This costed half a million. But I don't even think we made money off that, really. 1,500 units we sold. Yeah, maybe. And this we for sure made money, but it costed 600,000. Not bad, though. Not bad. Okay. Let us go and modify, maybe? Let's do that for one year from now, probably. We're going to spend a good few million, probably 10 or 20 million in R&D. Um, we'll call it the H40. H401, why not? Sure. I like numbering my engines. Let's just get this just over 200, please. You know what? It's fine. 224 is fine. We'll finish this. And this is called the 401. All the way down here to the T version, the turbocharged one. It's got a variable geometry turbo though, which is expensive actually, quite expensive. Hmm. It's not really worth the expense, but it's not really worth the expense at all. Oh god, it's expensive. Well, you know, it's fine. It's fine. We will. 110 torque sounds fine and 60 horsepower sounds like a reasonable amount. Only $152 in costs. What's the, what's the previous engine, actually? 44 right now in cost, which is a little... So it's not that much money, actually. The G2202. Wow. So this thing actually had more, as much horse... This thing has more horsepower than the previous gen. V8. But less torque. Which is fine. So we can get a V8 for... Oh, wow. We, the V8 actually costs less. I guess the V8 is more of a... It's not really using the, the cars, is it? Let's check. It's only used in the... Oh, the Maximus S8. This is a smoother engine, though. What's smoother? So it's less smooth. It's just more powerful. Okay. Okay. I'll take it, I guess. It's a little bit meh. Cancel these engines because they're getting in the way. 
So we got the TM, the TS, and the TX, which I'm guessing is an, just a performance transmission. Higher performance, I'm guessing, due to you know, judging by the cost. So TM2 stays as a three-speed auto. Uh, we can make it yeah, 295 pound-feet. Sounds reasonable. Let's go to the TS, which is going to be used in the Harriets, probably, as well as the mid-high range Mavens. Uh, 370. We're just making the new generation. We own 50% of Cureworth. We could buy them. And they're doing kind of fine. $14 million in quarterly revenues. We've got 78. If we go one more month ahead, I want to see what's happening. We're losing money, but that's most. That's from R&D, attacks, and expenses. So we're okay. So, what's not selling? The Harriets aren't really selling that well, but there is more profit in them. Like for example, the Cressida, the, the, the Cressida, there's only what there's only half million dollars profit there or in revenue, and we have more in the Vitesse, more in every Harriet actually. It looks like let's do one more month. No, no, there'll be there'll be I think taxes on this month as well. Usually every quarter they'll take off some sort of taxes. Usually, we'll see. Yeah, just a bit. Okay, so we're still losing money mostly due to R and D cost, but we're making some profits. Uh, what are our factories looking like? That's not full. That's not full. That's not full at all. That's not full. Okay, so we do have a lot of excess production here. We could probably go ahead and try to expand just a little bit. Ooh, what's this? Allstone is bankrupt, I guess, and they want us to buy them for um, 50 million plus 37 million in loans. Can we actually see in the... Sometimes we, sometimes we can see and sometimes we can't see. Uh, was Allstone? Okay, so they've got about 17 million in quarterly revenues. This is actually not a terrible buy. 230 million market cap. They've got a ton of models, lots of factories. This, this could be a push into Europe, not really the push I wanted. So 4 million a month off that, off their actual main, which over 4 million. Mm, it's a tough choice. Cure has actually gone up in value. We got 150 in there. I kind of want to buy them. We, we could sell them later on. It's about 80, it's about what, 80 million dollars or 90 million ish in expenses. I'm not sure if they're, they are, how much, debt, how much debt do they have? I mean, it says how much debt they have, I guess, but 37 million in debt. We could merge them actually. <laughs> we could merge them or we could buy them. Actually, no, I don't want to merge with them. This is a tough one, actually. This is a really interesting. This is a really interesting choice here. We might buy the bull and buy them. We'll buy them. So we could sell them right now for about 40, for 58 million, 60 million actually. We they're they're worth about 90 million in debt. Uh, let's go to. This is interesting. They've got a lot of debt. Hmm. Pay off these. Let's go here for a second to the globe. Oh wow, they've got a lot of European branches. Oh, this is lovely. This is lovely. How much? How much factories? So it's three. These are all very small factories, though. Very small. It's costly. I don't like that. They're all on max production. They have ours to kick in now. Let's... They've got a lot of cars to the table. Let's go to our brands and apply to all with all of our cars first because we have to make sure that they're selling in the European factories or in the European branches. Come on. Uh, and Harriet's our performance brand. So revenue has jumped to about 40 million, which is good. We had 50 million in one-time expenses. We're still using 17 million now. Not a deal. Let's see here. So we do have missed sales. We are peak factory production. We could go ahead and sort of consolidate non-selling cities. Like this thing, we only sold 20 cars or close that branch. This is this is where it gets real fun. This thing only sold 29. That's why I assumed so. Smaller-ish European cities, they have less per capita money. So although they have good population, like this is actually pretty bad population, but Copenhagen had 1.1 million or something like that. Let's go to Russia. So we're losing some money on these branches. We can just go branch, we can see that the profits per branch. These ones are not doing well, not doing so hot. Russia was just a bad choice to open up. That's probably why you're... Moscow will keep. We'll keep Moscow. And we'll keep St. Petersburg. What about Finland? Nope. 
And then pretty much all of these other little ones are definitely going to be losing money. Because they're all just very poor and relatively small. So all this sort of, you know, Eastern European countries in Eastern Europe are, yeah, they're not as rich as uh, Western Europe. So let's cancel a bunch of branches here. Uh, and I think we'll actually be probably almost in the black after this. We'll keep actually the remaining one. That's it's only using 13k. The other one's using 16, 15. It's like an okay amount of cars. Now we'll close it. We'll close it. Greece is generally as okay. No. What about Budapest? Only losing 10,000. We'll close it for now. Now just remember, guys. All these branches have to be reconditioned and made into the nicest, fa uh, the nicest branches at some point. Vienna is actually selling a good bit of cars. We'll keep that. And we'll close that though. And we'll close. That's actually doing okay. It's not losing a bit. And I think we're pretty much close to the Swiss, the Swiss one. That never really makes money. There we go. So this is going for the upper. We'll make it a more reliable. Because it's kind of an OP strat. More cargo. Less safety actually. And then just increase that. Okay. So the super does it in 6 seconds. And the super T. This will be cheaper, we'll see at the end here. The Super T is the same, 5 speed. 5.6 seconds, 180 miles an hour, that's very quick. We will do that. 5.5 seconds. I think that's pretty much good. Let's check out the pricing now. So this one costed over 2 million, so I think this is, yeah, this is actually quite a bit cheaper. Okay, that's good, we'll go save it again. We're going to do it on this platform now. It's, it's cheaper, uh, it's better stats. Let's let's make the yellow runner pretty good. So do you want a good, like a 4.3 liter V would be quite good. Now we're gonna go for a small four cylinder. And we're gonna go for a three speed automatic for the, we can go for these actually. It's actually a better transmission somehow. This is just better. So transaxle and non-transaxle. We'll do this, three speed manual. It's relatively good at everything. Uh, and we'll do new body. These are some good looking ones now. Okay, so I've actually designed... Do I have mine in here yet? No, oh, yeah, these are mine. Okay, so I've got these. These are mine that I've designed. Um, one's supposed to be like early and then late gen. So you can tell one's like more off-road tires. It's like, a, it's like a war than an after war version with like, you know, updated rear end and stuff. Um, I kind of want to have though, like a Jeep looking thing. Like this isn't even fine, honestly. 57 is good for... 65 is what you want though, right? Maybe we'll just do mine. Yeah, it's still compact. We'll take it. So, it does 60 miles an hour. The specs are actually not that great. Only 40, 41, which is probably fine, honestly. Whatever, it's okay. See, so the All Runner will do the All Runner XT. Sales are down a lot now. We have taken on a bit of debt. Just a bit. We've got some money right now. I don't want this to happen though, but we can't do much. Okay, we can take another loan of 4 million. We'll sell a tiny bit of our company. I think we can sell 49 though. Let's not let that happen. Let's do a little more. Five, 5 million worth. 18. So we only have our company. We got one more month left. Let's sim it. We lost a ton of money last month. I don't even want to look. I don't even want to look. That's better. So our sales crashed because we had, I guess, issues with parts supply. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Those are literally the worst time that could happen. Let's go ahead, just cancel every every Maven and Harriet Kerr model. Let's see here. So we got a, we got a Maven, and there's no Mavens for sale. We go to Harriet, there's no Harriets. Okay. So Maven, let, let, let's get the pricing going here. So the cheapest one is going to be probably the always probably the all runner. I'm guessing 520 versus 600. Yeah, so this would be very this is a very cheap car. Um we'll go 1100 very cheap what 1500 400 more and we can do 2000 now let's do one month i am worried though i think we'll make profit by how much profit two million yeah that's not much that's that's worse than i was even hoping for okay we're okay we do have a lot of missed sales a lot of missed sales we, we can cancel some of you we can cancel some cars we're gonna cancel the m1136 and the yeah, I'm gonna go cancel the M1136. So it's not really selling well. And they've got a couple cars here that actually have reserves. So these are cars that they're not, we're not selling. The Comfrey will stop selling that. Scrap all inventory and sell. 
We're going to sell the Babona and the Rotate. The Rotate, is that what it is? And we'll do that. Let's do one more month. Let's see what's happening. We should be making, hopefully, a little more profit. Hopefully. But before, before taxes. Before taxes. Okay. So a little more profit. Not much more. A little more revenue. We are short, though. So Kirith has actually crashed down in, in, in value. We do have 300 million in bonds to pay off. Let's pay off that balance. It's going to cost us 50,000 a month. Let's save it. I, I am a little concerned, though. We are we are really on a rocky path right now. Uh, how much would it cost to upgrade a factory in North America? It's 13 million. That'll make us a bit more money. So 23 million for that. We can do this. Six months. Let's take out a $37 million bank loan. We'll do that. We could be in debt again. We could be into our, 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 our line of credit after this. I'm not too sure. Come on. We'll take a look at spe stats and specs too after this. I want to see stats and specs of uh, the fastest cars, for example. Maybe we're the fastest car in the world. I don't know. Can we claim the fastest car in the world title yet? I want to go back to racing, but we can't afford that even. We can't afford to have a racing team either anymore, which is just sad. We're, we're going to lose a lot of money here. We are making a slight profit. That's why our cash flow is only negative 2.5. Because that's going to upgrade in the factory. There's 21. Okay. Th things are looking up, I think, actually. We'll, we'll see next month. Things are looking up. 70 million. Yeah, yeah. Things are looking up. Okay. Okay, so sales are up even higher to 75 million now because we are producing, we are at full capacity, nearly full, we are, we are over full capacity. But we, we almost can produce enough cars, is what I'm trying to say here. And Kirov actually looks like they shot up quite a bit, the 300 again. I kind of want to sell them. Do they have any debt? Because if they have debt, they have a bit of debt. I kind of want to sell them. Because we can make a quick 150 million. We do have long-term debt bonds. We got to pay off. 1957, we got 100 million to pay off. We got six years to make 100 million. We could go ahead and upgrade some more factories. But we don't really have any more factories to upgrade. Let's actually build a new factory. Um, in Monterey. A 10. It's just expensive. We can go for a 10 factory. 28 million. It'll be done in a couple years. We're getting sketchy with the money situation right now. We could always sell Cure if we could. Let's finish off the year and see where the chips are lying. Revenue is at the 80 million a month. About that still. We do a positive cash flow with constructing a factory. 81 million. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, you know, as time goes on to your factories actually just get more efficient in general. Because that's just, you know, how they work too. Once they get, you know, re refurbish and stuff. This. So we actually have the fastest accelerated. We actually have the fastest car of all time. Nice. The fastest. That's what this is titled now. Um, so power to weight ratio. The previous generation Super Vitesse, the Super T Vitesse, at three point nine kilograms per horsepower, which is pretty, pretty, pretty good, I guess. Um, now we have, we 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 have worse than that apparently. But we've got a faster zero to sixty five point five to sixty, uh, and five point. 8 to 100 kilometers an hour, 181 miles an hour is the fastest car in the world, which is ours, which is kind of a kind of a, uh, an accomplishment, I guess. It would probably dominate in racing, but we, we, we can't afford to go racing. We can't afford it. About $100 million in revenue. We're doing okay. Yearly sales are probably still ballooning. You know, 480000 up to second place. Uh, our market cap's doing okay. Ooh, Curith is actually, revenue is growing. We could probably sell them. We're going to sell them. And pay off our long-term debt. I know. I know. Pay off all of our debt. And we're going to put... 50 million into our pension funds. Take that. And let's buy a little more shares. 51%. Okay. So things are looking up. We'll, we'll, we'll finish off, I think, here. Next year, I think we're going to actually go... Uh, and, 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 and do some things. Um, next, next video, which whenever that might be in a month or whatever. Uh, we're going to go ahead... And I want to balloon out the entire company probably once we start working on the next gen. I think we'll introduce the Blackwood brand. Maybe. 
Maybe not. I'm not too sure at this point. But we'll do that uh, next time. I think things are looking pretty good. Let's go to our all-time market share. So if you go to other here. So we're actually tied for second. We're actually doing pretty good. We're actually first for the 40s and stuff. But that's, you know, oh, okay, I guess. Um, things are doing great. We're doing okay, I, I, I want to say. Nothing's bad. You know, we're doing fine. Uh, we'll finish off here. If you guys have ideas for car names, let me know in the comments down below. I'm always looking for new car name ideas. Uh, bl the Blackwood brand is going to be coming up soon, and that's going to be an important one. I think I think Harriet's going to stick to just a few cars ever, really. Um, maybe just like two cars at any given time. Uh, but, you know, who, who really knows? We, we don't really know at this point in time. Uh, if you guys like the video, leave a like down below. Join the Discord linked in the description. Uh, thank you guys, of course, for watching. And as always, I guess, I'll see you next time.